afternoon and we are the team BAM squad and <laughs> members Chito, Rocky, Pao and me. So um, today we're going to present our application. So the problem we had is that with the rapid development of uh, Cebu has brought with it a challenge to our sanitation and health. And uncollected garbage remain a, per a perennial problem in streets and sitios. More. Moreover, toilet facilities are either inadequate or poorly maintained, especially in remote areas of the province. So, what do we need? Citizens need a mechanism for them to report incidents of uncollected trash, and they also need to post criticisms on toilets that are non existent or poorly maintained. Lastly, they need a way to report an incident of illness. So, our focus here is that it's a two way. <laughs> reporting information and then getting information from the application. Um, what do we do? Uh, what are the information there? It's about toilets, garbage, uncollected garbage, and information like locations and especially the diseases that are in that specific area. Impact the system will allow the province to monitor and take remedial actions to the issues of sanitation and health. So our solution would be a web-based system, Sanima, with a web application. With an, with an Android and or with a mobile application as well. <clears throat> so, more information on Sanimax Maps is this. So, we have here is to monitor and map. So, it's important to report, to have the information, and then get information from the database as well. Allows individuals to report incidents of bad soil and sanitations. Also, this includes garbage, uh, uncollected garbage. Target audience would be individuals who have concern to people's health. Individuals who are in earth with piles of trash, local government units and health departments, NGOs and advocacy groups. What to report? Bad sanitation facilities in public and private establishments. Disease tests such as diarrhea, cholera, and typhoid. And this is um, how it looks like. Store reports into a, its web database and map reports based on their location. So let's go ahead and examine the application. So uh, basically, um, we developed this app using a, a framework called Mushahidi. So it's basically a tool reporting task. It's web-based, but we're going, but since we want to reach as many people as possible, we're gonna, it has also has a text feature, SMS feature, and a uh, mobile application. So if you look at this, you can just submit a report. This is um, basically a run through of what the app looks like. So you can just choose a, choose a specific uh, category, and then, uh, for example, let's say diarrhea, and then can you press, no, can I drop down? So you can um, submit a report through sending a message to any of the, uh, to this uh, number, globe number, or using an Android and or iPhone application. So um, for now, um, can we do a demo for um, submitting a report? Yeah, submit a report. <laughs> Anyways, um, if, if you look, um, so this is the web, this is what the web looks like. Um, there's report title description. It, the maps are supposed to come out here, so um, yeah, there. Um, so you can choose a category somewhere there, and then can you press down, please? So um, aside from that, Basically, that's what we do. There's also a mobile application because Shady allows us to have a port of the mobile application. So the good thing about having a mobile application, iPhone and Android, would be that there's an option for you to choose a picture um, and use your geolocation directly. So once you upload the report, um, you can also see it on the web. So it's it we have we basically have all bases covered. So more or less that's the right of how the application works. Time's up.